Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 900 bucks. I repeat, 900 bucks. Now this comes in one color, graphite. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. For the display, you got a 14.6 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1848 by 2960. Now that's 240 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass 5 for protection. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 with the Adreno 730 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now you got eight, 12, or 16 gigs of RAM, 128, 256, or 512 gigs of storage, and you do have an SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 12, with Samsung One UI 4.1 skin on top. Now you got an 11,200 milliamp battery that features 45 watt fast charge. Now Samsung claims you could charge this tablet from zero to 100% in 82 minutes. Now you got quad stereo speakers tuned by AKG, which on a side note, sound incredible. For the cameras on the rear, you got a dual setup, 13 megapixel wide angle, six megapixel ultra wide. On the front, got a 12 megapixel wide and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. Now you got Bluetooth 5.2, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, Samsung DeX, Samsung wireless DeX, and one of the best features of this tablet, the Bluetooth S Pen. All right, so all that for 900 bucks, what's missing? There's no NFC and no always on display. Now the reason I gotta mention the always on display, y'all seen the Lenovo tablet that I did the other day, that one does have an always on display, this one doesn't. All right, here we go. First things first, shout out to White Shoes. She's over here somewhere under the table. Now I gotta give y'all a quick disclaimer. If my voice sounds a little bit funny, today is Monday morning. I've been up since Saturday morning. So I didn't get any sleep in two days. I'm a little bit tipsy, right? But a lot of people have been asking me to do this video. Once I go to sleep today, I'm probably not gonna wake up until Wednesday. So I'm just throwing this out there. All right, here we go. Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, the Galactus tablet. This is the big boy right here. So we got the tablet and we got the case. Nice white box, really nothing fancy. Basically, if you've seen my uh, S8 Plus video, same thing, but bigger, okay? This is gonna be your tablet. Extra big, giggity. Bluetooth S Pen, and of course, you got your usual books and shit. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick. Okay, no books on this one. This is just the uh, 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 USB-A, uh, USB Type-C, the USB Type-C charging cable, SIM ejection tool, and usual books and shit inside of here. No charger in the box. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video. I'll set everything up. Then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we'll be back in. First, let's do a little size comparison with all of the new Samsung tablets. Now here's the S8 Ultra. It's the second biggest tablet. If you get the regular S8, it's a lot smaller. If you get the S8 Plus, it's a little bit smaller. And like I said, it's the second biggest Samsung tablet. Y'all remember the Galaxy View? This is the big bar right here. This is the biggest one that they came out with. It's kind of like a portable TV. Now, let's look around the tablet real quick. On the back, here's your magnetic slot for your S Pen. Here's your dual camera setup, LED flash, little Samsung branding. On the top, you got your power button, volume up and down, digital SIM tray. On the front, dual front facing cameras. On this side, you got two of your quad speakers and your USB Type-C charging slot. On the bottom, this is your pins for the keyboard. And on the other side, there's two more of your quad speakers. Okay, simple enough. Once you power this up, beautiful display. Okay, now you do have face unlock. Let me do the fingerprint sensor first. And then we'll try to face unlock. Let me see if I get this to work from behind the camera. Now, okay, it did work, <laughs> even with my glasses on. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, let me, let me take the glasses off. So, do that one more time. Bang, there's your face unlock. And of course, if you want to, you can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin, but you do have your on-screen fingerprint sensor. Okay, 
Now, let me drop the S-Pen on. And when you drop it on the back, it shows you your battery percentage. Now, here's a unique feature with the S8 Ultra. Let's take a look at the keyboard case. One thing that I like about this one, it does have LED lights, okay? So you plug this right in the bottom, slap the back on, then you're gonna grab this S Pen. Let me see, what did I do with that just now? Oh, it's on there, okay, here's the S Pen right here. I'm tired, y'all. S Pen goes right in the back. Bong, just like that. Now, let's see, let's take a look at this keyboard and see exactly how bright it is. Let me dim the lights. All right, so I'm sitting here in complete darkness. Let's test out the keyboard. Now you have three different settings. This is max brightness. Okay, that's off. One, two, and three. Now it might be hard to see on camera, but on level three, you can definitely see this in complete darkness. All right, so I dim the lights because I'm getting a lot of reflections and I think it's easier to see like this. Now, like I said, a couple of different ways you can open up the tablet. You can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. You got your on-screen fingerprint sensor and face unlock. But you can also open it up using the Bluetooth S Pen. I'm gonna press and hold the button. Bang, right to the camera. Now, if I want to, I can switch over to video, switch over to portrait, press the button again to take a photo. Real dope. Now, I'm gonna try to make this quick. Swipe over once. There's your Google feed. It's running Android 12, so you got all your Android 12 widgets. Fully customizable. Now let's go through the basic toggles. You've seen all these before, but there's two that I want to talk about. You got call or text from other devices, and you got second screen. So what is call or text on other devices? If you got a Galaxy phone, now you can make phone calls and receive text messages from the tablet. Let's try it out real quick. So we go to phone. Let's call up the 24 hour diner. See what time they close. Let's see, 849-6673. Now it's connected to my Galaxy. Yeah, hi, uh, what time do you guys close? It's 24 hours. All right, 24 hours, all right, thanks a lot. You see? Paired up to my Galaxy. We hang up. Bang, just like that. That's pretty dope. And let me show you second screen. Now, besides those two, all of the other uh, quick toggles, all the same stuff you already seen, nearby share, quick share, Samsung Dex. You got smart view. You can pair it up to your TV or your monitors. Dolby Atmos. But again, let's talk about second screen. Let me whip out a laptop. All right, so I got a Windows laptop right here. This is real simple. You're gonna hit Windows K. That's gonna bring up your connect menu. On the tablet, you're gonna turn on second screen. You got two different modes. You got drawing, that's gonna give you a faster response, or video for smoother playback. I'm gonna leave mine on video. We'll hit connect. And bang, there it is, just like that. Now, you do have a few options. Click on that. You can disconnect, you can have duplicate screens, that's what you see right now. You can extend the screen, or just have a second screen only. Now why is this important? This is perfect for gaming. So if you got a powerful gaming laptop, you can open up a game, and it'll go right to the screen. Let's see, do I have anything on it? I think I do have Killer Instinct. Let's see. Yep, okay. So now, I can get the laptop out the way, and play Killer Instinct in its full glory, on the tablet. Pretty sick. All right, now I'm not gonna waste your time going through all of the settings. I'll leave a link for my Tab S8 Plus video. Everything is exactly the same. Let's go right to the performance. Let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to samsung.com. Now you got the Snapdragon 8 Generation 1, 120 hertz refresh rate, so the scrolling speed, nice and smooth, super fast. Now we can do split screen multitasking. So we'll open up, let's do Amazon right here. And then we can actually add a third one. So let's do YouTube. Bon, there it is. Now we can mix these up. Top to bottom. 
we can switch them around. Or if I want to just have this set up for next time, put it into a little group. Now we exit out of this. When I go to my edge panels, it's already saved as a group. Now, speaking of edge panels, you got all the basic ones, all your apps, you got your people edge. Of course, y'all remember rectangle. Okay, you could resize this. You got, uh, let's see, oval. Okay, you can resize that too. Animated GIFs and pin the screen. Y'all seen this a thousand times. I'm not going to waste your time. All right, basically all your edge panels on deck, fully customizable. Let's see anything else. Let's uh, let's check the uh, speakers. Now, this is what I wanted to compare. Let me grab this iP uh, iPad Pro. Quad stereo speakers tuned by AKG. Let's see if they sound better than the iPad. All right, so just in case you was wondering, here's the difference in the size between the Tab S8 Ultra and the iPad Pro. The Tab is a lot bigger. Okay, so we'll start off with the Tab. Let's pull out a song. Max volume. Okay, here's the iPad. Now, in terms of volume, they pretty much sound the same, but I might be tired, but it sounds like the iPad has a lot more bass. Let's try that again. Here's the tab. Here's the iPad. Now, I don't know if this camera mic is doing it any justice, but it's the same thing like the uh, Galaxy Note. The speakers sound a little bit more hollow than Apple speakers. So I would give this one to the iPad. Speakers sound a little bit better. But in terms of just volume, they both sound nice and loud. All right, so now let's do an official speaker test. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rebier. Bluetooth S Pen for play and pause. Here we go. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. That's a sound test, baby. That's a sound test. That's a motherfucking sound test. How's the sound on that shit? Goddamn it, hell! How's the sound white shoes? How's the sound on it? Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. Now, like I said earlier, the speakers sound great, but it's just like the, the Galaxy S22 Ultra. They sound great until you put them next to something that sounds better. So you're gonna like the sound of these speakers, just don't put it next to an iPad Pro. All right, so now let's take a look at this big, beautiful, bright, vibrant 14.6 inch AMOLED display. Same thing, play and pause on the Bluetooth S Pen. Here we go. D 
This display is beautiful. You got excellent viewing angles. And this is why you're getting this over the uh, Tab S8 Plus. Look how big it is. Now again, Bluetooth S Pen. Bang, pause it just like that. This is why you want this tablet, all right? This is the biggest Samsung tablet that's not a Galaxy View, which is basically a TV. Look how your video is gonna look. All right, you got this at work and you rocking Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, whatever you're doing, it's gonna look like this. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. We got Asphalt 9 queued up. You're gonna love gaming on this big giant display. <laughs> Look at this. All right, here we go. No lag at all. Let's do 360s. Okay. All right, let me stop playing around. I'm tired, but I ain't that tired. Let's go. Okay, 360. Oh, oh, I'm playing. All right, all right. There it is. All right, I got to get him out of here. I'm going to take this way. Okay. 360 landed. Now, I'm just doing that on purpose to see if we get any lag. None at all. Okay, so gaming on this tablet, no issues. If you could run this game, you could run any game on the Android market. Now I wanna show you something else. All right, so now let's do a little Xbox Game Pass. Now this has nothing to do with the processor. I'm just showing you how it's gonna look on the tablet. So I got a Bluetooth controller. Here we go. Uh, let's do Jago today, why not? Okay, here we go. Trash, but we still hit. Oh, good one, good one. That was getting too fancy. All right. Make sure the knees are still flexible. Let's go. Okay, ragdoll. Okay, good one, good one, okay. Okay, he's blocking everything, okay, you know what I'm saying? Stop it. Stop it. All right, let me, let me send him out of here. All right, let's go. All right, you see for yourself. All 
Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm tired, but I'm still outside. I'm afraid your path ends here. Xbox Game Pass. Like I said, this has nothing to do with the processing power. This is how it's going to look on this big, beautiful tablet. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. Pretty basic. You got portrait mode. You got regular photos, wide angle, all the way up to eight times zoom. You got video. Now you can also zoom up to eight times. You can shoot 4K at 30 frames per second and uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second. Now you also got more. You got pro mode, pro video, single take, night mode, food, panorama, hyperlapse, and portrait video. Now take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. And on a side note, I hope y'all appreciate this. This is a true story. I was outside doing my camera testing, taking pictures with this, and I bumped into one of my boys, and he gave me the look of disgust. Like, bro, you don't got a phone, you outside taking pictures with this big ass tablet? I had to let him know I'm doing a video. But take a look at these pictures for yourself. So now let's talk about Samsung DeX and Samsung Wireless DeX. Now, if you want to use Samsung DeX, go to the toggles, activate it. When you put in your keyboard cover, it's going to give you more of a laptop experience. Okay, so we'll open up uh, YouTube. Okay, close it right from the bottom. There's all your apps. Do Gmail. Close it right from the bottom. Everything's set up nice and neat. When you want to exit out, just hit exit. Now let me show you what wireless decks looks like. I'm gonna show you some stock footage from one of my phones, but it works exactly the same on tablets. This is what it looks like. All right, now let me show you how I use Samsung DeX. Now I'm gonna wirelessly connect to my TV and use the phone as a laptop, and I'll still be able to use the phone. So we're gonna scroll down. Let's turn on Samsung DeX. Hit start. Let it connect. And there it is. Now watch this. From the phone, I'm gonna use my phone as a trackpad. So now you see, 
I'm scrolling around. Let's go to Samsung Internet. Just like that. Now here's some of the different tabs I had open. Say I want to watch Apple TV. I can take it over to Apple TV and watch a movie, but from the phone, I can exit out and take it over to Instagram and start scrolling on Instagram, doing my thing. At any moment, I can go back, use the phone as a trackpad. Let's see, uh, let's see what's going on with OnePlus. Full website, completely wireless. Let's take it over to Amazon, do a little shopping. Now I can be shopping on the big screen, using the phone as a trackpad. I can watch a movie. And like I said, I can exit out and still completely use my phone. This is a major go. Now let me talk about one of my favorite features and the feature that sets this apart from the iPad Pro, the Bluetooth S Pen. The Apple Pencil is trash compared to the Bluetooth S Pen. Now you already see me open up the tablet and take it right to the camera from the pen. There's more, okay? So you're gonna hit that little menu. Let's create a note. Oh, before I even do that, you see when you hit that menu, it shows your battery percentage. So it's on 100%, only takes about 10 minutes to fully charge. So we'll create a note, let's do our uh, call mic. Okay, now of course you can change the colors, go crazy. Exit out of that. Bang, move the trash. Okay, now you can view all your notes. You got smart select. Now say I just wanna select this little area right there. There it is. Now if I wanna take all of the text from that area, extract the text, I can copy it or share it. Okay, let's do uh, something else. We got uh, screen right. Basically what that does is take a screenshot. Now I could write on this. We'll change the color so we can see it. Let's see. Uh, We'll do red. <laughs> I know, bear with me, <laughs> bear with me. Okay, there it is just like that. Right in the screen, share it, save it, go crazy. Okay, let's exit out of that. Now, we also have uh, <laughs> late, but still great, ladies and gentlemen, White Shoes is back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. White shoes, white calm shoes. down. Now I'm gonna give you a break because both of us is tired. You got live messages. Now y'all seen me do this before. Let's uh, pick a color. We'll do black. Start drawing. Hey baby. Little heart. And when you send it to somebody, it's gonna look like this. All right, nice and cute. Okay, exit out of that. Okay, I right, shoes, I need you to scoot, scoot. Okay, let's see what else we got. Now we got translate. So I'm gonna click on translate. I have mine from English to Spanish. So say I wanna learn a word in Spanish. Let's see, um, how do we say ring? I just hover over it and it's anilio. I, I, did I say that right? Anilio. How do we say maps? Just hover over the word, map us, okay? That's a nice little feature, translate. Let's see what else we got. We got pen up and we got color in. Now this is a fun little app. Open this up. Let's pick something. Let's, let's do something random right here. Start coloring and go crazy. This is something when you're on that flight, I shoes, when you're on that flight and you're bored, play around with this. You could change uh, the, the different pen sizes, the width, all of that. Real simple, just a little coloring book app. We we'll discard that. And you also have add. Now you can add as many apps as you want, go crazy. No reason to see that. Okay, now there's more to the Bluetooth S Pen. This is why I love it so much. Let's take it over to YouTube. Okay, uh, let's, let's pull up one of my videos real quick. Okay. Yo, what's okay. up everybody, it's your boy. Now while I'm watching this video. Again with another video. And today we're okay. going to do a quick unboxing of the iPhone 13. You got Max play and pause. And now buying green. All right, so you hit and the you button. This one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. Bond, there it is. So you got play and pause. Now, if I want to skip to the next video. Starts. What? Yo, what's up, everybody? There it is. If I want to go back. Back again with a what? The price if I want to lower the volume. At 1,100 bucks. Hold it down. 
Now, I'm not going to waste your time going through this. There's the volume. If I want to raise the volume, hold it up. And I'm not really going to talk about the phone too much because I already did that. And of course, the play and pause. Today, we're just going to... Bang. This is so dope. All right? This is one of my favorite features. Y'all seen me test this before. We call this the WAP. Let's do that one more time. We hit play. Look at the colors and the official Apple cases. Hold up. So let's get right into it. First, WAP. There's the next one. WAP. Let's go back. Everybody should... What? Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy. Let's hit pause. Back again with another. Bluetooth S Pen. All right, for taking pictures, controlling all your audio and your video. This is a dope feature. Let's keep it moving. All right, so real quick, here's the keyboard cover. Now, for the Tab S8 and the S8 Plus, no light up keyboard. With the Ultra, the keyboard does light up. Now, you got all your basic shortcuts. All right, so you can go apps. You can go home, you got customizable buttons. You can raise or lower the brightness, raise or lower the volume. Keyboard brightness. There's your settings. And you can turn on Samsung DeX right from the keyboard. And if you want to turn it off, bam, there it is. And you do have a big, beautiful trackpad. That's another difference between the S8 and the S8 Plus. No trackpad. So this is a real keyboard. You got a trackpad and it lights up. Now let's do the RDA test. Regular daily activities. Now you're spending 900 bucks on the tablet. How does it work in the real world? Let's find out. Now say you live in a scumbag life or you want to take some clandestine photos while you got your tablet on the table from far away, Bluetooth S Pen. Gonna open it up right to the camera. Bang, take some pictures and videos. Okay, so let's exit out of this. Now, we're gonna go into, uh, matter of fact, let's start like this. Let's do a little bit of uh, work, okay? So here's my Gmails. Now, I would pull out my keyboard right here. Let's connect this, just like that. Okay, let's uh, hit reply. Bong, just like that. Now, like I said, I'm tired. I ain't gonna go through all of this, but let me. Matter of fact, let me test this keyboard real quick because I haven't used it. Let's let's actually try to type something. Uh, real quick. <laughs> brown fox, you get the rest. All right, quick brown fox, you get the rest. All right, nice key travel. You do have a nice trackpad. We can exit out of this if we want. Go crazy. All right, so that's the work part. Now we're gonna go into uh, portrait mode. And let's do a little social media. So first, now I'm gonna make this quick. Let's take it over to Facebook. Okay, we're gonna use this S Pen. Let's see what's going down on Facebook. Okay, ain't really nothing. Like I said, I'm tired. I'm uh, I'm not even in the mood right now to crack any jokes. I, <laughs> the reason I'm doing this video, because if I don't do it now, I'm probably going to sleep until Wednesday. And I promised y'all I was gonna do it over the weekend. So I'm keeping my promise. All right, so that's Facebook. Next, let's take it over to Twitter. Let's see how Twitter looks. Okay. Now this, uh, shout out to Destroyer FGC. This is why I'm tired. Okay, Saturday night, I did a first to 10 with Mr. Aquaman. Uh, Y'all gonna see that video coming soon, but I never slept since then. All right, so here's how uh, Twitter's gonna look. Oh, let's see, anything going down? Let's see, who's that? Somebody got a Pixel 6 Pro, okay. Okay, uh, all these bullshit iPhones is what it is. Now I am doing the iPhone SE. I got that over the weekend also. So I'll probably do that on uh, Tuesday. All right, anyway, I say it's what it's gonna look. Now, watch this. Facebook, let's open up Facebook. Now y'all seen split screen? We can open this up as a pop-up. Then we'll minimize it. Let's open up Twitter. We'll minimize that also. Okay. <laughs> I can't even see. I minimized that one. Let's do something else. I uh, say we opened up maps. Okay, we can minimize that one also. Okay, exit out of that. And you see, we got all these apps running in the background. What else? Let's, uh, let's see, uh, let's go to TikTok. Okay, now I'm gonna turn the volume down on this. Now, this big, beautiful display, this is how you wanna watch TikTok. Okay. Let's see if this TikTok is spicy this early in the morning. This is 5.50 in the morning. Okay, TikTok looking nice and clean. I, I respect it. 
All right, let's see what Shaq doing. All right, Sha- Sha- Shaq, Shaq, he, for a big dude, he really be he really be moving around a lot. You know what I'm saying? He be doing a lot of movements. All right, so anyway, that's a TikTok. Oh, okay, let's do right, right on schedule. Let's do a uh, pop-up. Minimize that too. So again, we got all those apps running in the top. Now, of course, do we want to take a chance and go to Instagram? Let's do it anyway. Why not? We'll go to Instagram. Okay. This is a family show, y'all. This is a family show. Right, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, let's see what Instagram is talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, this is Instagram. A little scroll on. Okay. Cat videos. Why not? Okay. Now, I want to show you something. Let me go to my Instagram. This is where this would come into play. Let's go to our uh, edge panels. Oh, let's pick on this. Pick a picture. Photo. Go to edge panels. Now, say I want to reshare this photo. I'll do rectangle, automatically saves it right to that size. I can save it to my library and upload it to uh, Instagram just like this. Now, if I want to extract the text, there's only one word in this picture, Samsung, and it came out. Copy the clipboard, keep it moving. All right, so that's just one feature I wanted to show y'all real quick because let's see, is there anything in the, um, oh, pin the screen. Okay, so I can pin that to the screen, why not? Pin a Myers picture, exit out of that. And in this way, if I'm doing something else, let's go to um, YouTube Music. Got the girlies picture right there. I can minimize that. And anytime I start missing a Maya, hit that photo, bang. You know what I'm saying? That's a nice little feature. And again, all of these apps running in the background. This is your regular daily activities. Y'all seen the camera, y'all seen gaming. Overall, all right, I'm gonna wrap this up <laughs> so I can take my ass to bed. Overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra a major, major, major go. I love this tablet. Would I recommend it? Hell yeah. Okay, now, if you like the Tab S8 and the Tab S8 Plus, but you want a bigger version, this is it. I, this is the big boy version right here. And look, I, I told y'all I was outside walking around with this, taking pictures in the neighborhood. As big as this is, it's nice and lightweight. It feels ultra premium. I would advise, Get in the keyboard case, since it does have an actual trackpad and it lights up, why not? This is official tissue. Now, I'm so tired, I'm, I'm trying to take one second to think, did I miss anything? Uh, we covered the camera, we went over the uh, processing speeds. Only thing I didn't really go through was the settings, and um, I hate doing half-assed videos, but y'all seen all of the settings a million and one times. There's really nothing to see. All of the Samsung, you know, the, the, the separate sound for app, everything is there. There's all your windows open. Close them all at once. Everything is the same. Like I said, I'll leave a link for the Tab S8 Plus. And if you want to see all of the settings, they're exactly the same. No reason for me to go through that. Anyway, Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. This is a triple major go. It's white shoes approved. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's why I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat poison out. Oh yeah. Shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all up in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes, pitch and roll. Your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossie Carter, we know you Flossie. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day. 
the one and only. Flossie Carter, you part of the money team.